So what were your next steps after that building the business that you have now? Yeah, I guess that's why you're asking if I'm nuts. So the contract came up and the way that a college coaching, college NCA contracts, especially the division one level work is they're predicated by the head coach of the sport team. So if you're a football strength and conditioning coach or a basketball strength and conditioning coach, usually your head coach is in charge of your contract. So if there's a head coaching change, you basically have to interview for your job. Right. And so I was at Georgia Southern the year of the pandemic. We had a 22 win season as a basketball program. We were actually on the plane getting ready to go to March Madness and when everything got shut down. And so as we got back to, to our campus, our head coach got offered another job and he left. And so we were all kind of in limbo. Everybody else on the staff is in limbo because you don't know who's going to get to go with the new, with him to his new job, who's going to stay. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. And so I decided to stay and they brought the new head coach in and I had to interview for my job. Basically the summer was going to be my interview. I started the summer and something just wasn't sitting right with me. I felt like there was something else that I needed to do. And I knew that leadership was something that I was passionate about. I had done a lot of work on myself and a lot of work on exploring what my interests were and what my passions were. There was also this piece of, uh, I wanted control of my own life. I no longer wanted to be at the beck and call of somebody else and no longer wanted to be subject to this win or go home lifestyle, which is what it was. You could live in one state on Monday and you could be in another state on Tuesday and there's nothing you can do about it. We sat down and he slid the contract uh, across the table to me. We had the conversation. It was a 50% a pay raise, meaning it would have almost doubled my salary and I couldn't sign it. I don't know why. It was one of those moments in life where you're just like, I don't know what came over me. I don't know what it was, but I just couldn't sign it. And so I said, can I have a day? Can I have 24 hours? And, and that's a big ask at that level. Oh yeah. Um, they thought you were nuts yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They thought I was nuts too. And luckily he respected my decision. And I said, okay, I'm going to take 24 hours and think on this. And I went home and I sat down and I called my mom and I just said, mom, I don't think I want to do this anymore. And she's like, are you out of your mind? Like, you mean, you've worked the last nine years to get to this place. You really want to do this? I said, yeah, I think I'm going to start a business. And from there, I went in the next day and I said, coach, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you so much, but I'm going to pass. I'm going to walk away. And I don't think that a lot of head coaches hear that because the look on his face was kind of like, you're like gonna mine. Do. Yeah, you're, 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 you're going you're gonna to do what? And so I did. I walked huh. away and I was living in rural Georgia, had no family, no friends down there outside of the coaching community. And I went online and Googled, how do you start an LLC? And... <laughs> That was how it started. The next thing I knew, I was, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to teach leadership skills to people using these experiences that I've had, using this sports psychology degree that I have. And then I thought to myself, well, this might not be enough. So that night I filed my LLC paperwork and I also applied for my PhD. And I figured I'll go back to school and get a PhD. At no point during that did I think to myself, how are you going to pay your bills? That just didn't even cross my mind. I was just like, no, these are the things that I need to do to be successful in this new endeavor that I'm trying to take on. 